Hey everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to another episode of Ask a Therapist. So even if you get just two, three days to get away, even just one day to get away somewhere that's not your everyday life and detach from work, there are four things that need to happen during that time for you to get properly rejuvenated and refreshed in order to go back into your everyday life. Coincidentally, there's also four things I need you to do before I continue in the video, and that is make sure you subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you do break-wise and vacation-wise, like the video. Also make sure you have bell notifications on so that you get notified every time I post. So I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I am drained from a lot of different things, life stuff, work stuff, world stuff. These days I find myself tired more often, on edge a bit more often, and more in need of taking care of myself on a regular basis. That's not always something I've been really good at doing for myself. It's definitely not something that for the last couple of years, my wife and I have been good at doing together. However, since the pandemic, we have discovered how important it is for both of us for us to get away and to be away, just the two of us, and to spend time together. In that vein, we're going away for a couple days. As most people at the job know, it's really hard to get away because when you get away, you have to do all this work on the front end to be able to actually leave your job for that many days. With everything being so chaotic going into our actual vacation, I started really doing some research into what is it that a vacation needs to be in order to be restorative so that you can be refreshed and go back into your life in a better way. If I'm having trouble figuring out how to make my vacation productively non-productive, maybe some of you are too. So these four things, two of them are of course, and two of them are super bizarre. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna explain these four things. After I explain these four things, I am also going to splice in clips of us on our vacation, trying to make sure that we are hitting all the markers. In the interest of full disclosure, my wife is not super thrilled with the camera. Very willing to do this because she's the most supportive person that I know, but it might just be me and then her voice. We'll see. Number one, you need to relax. That means you can't be go, go, go all the time. You need to have downtime and process time and time in between things and maybe not even deadlines at all, but you need to be able to relax. That's a simple one, right? Do you find this relaxing? Step one accomplished? In the process. The second one that you need to have, which again seems very simple, is detaching from the thing that stresses you out. If it's your work, if it's your home life, your kids, your dog, school, whatever it is that you are vacationing from, I mean, if you're if you're taking your kids with you, then probably don't vacation from the kids on vacation. Pick another time. Whatever it is you're vacationing from, you need to be completely disconnected from that thing. If you have your work or school email on your phone, if you have text messages coming through, if you have group chats, silence your group chats, snooze your email, put an auto reply on so that people know that you are not able to be contacted during this time. If you work the kind of job where that's not really super possible, make sure a few key people know how to get you and they are people that you trust to know when it's actually an emergency and when people just uh, don't feel like trying to figure it out themselves. Is that just my job? What you doing on your work phone? Checking work email. Why? Because I'm a dumb dumb. Aren't you off today? Yeah. Hmm. We have rules, and those rules need to be followed. What are you not doing right now? I'm fucking you are relaxing. Look. She's busted. What are you doing? Is that unplugging? No. Put it down. Enjoy this beautiful view. 
Now, number three may come as a surprise. Number three, the thing that you need is control. Here's why. No matter what type of job you have, you work under someone else's control. If you're in school, you have really no control over your schedule, especially when you're in class. If you work for a company with a lot of hierarchy, there could be a lot of different people above you that are controlling. If you work in customer service, the customers are really your control at that point. You do what they say, you give them what they want. It's just not something you control. So control is very important on vacation. And for some people who are, oh, I'm super type B and I don't need control. And I'm like totally laid back. I just need time to lay back and not do anything. Newsflash, that's actually control because you are controlling the fact that you don't have to do anything. So that's what I'm saying. You need it to be under your control. Set your own pace, set your own schedule, decide what it is you're doing. I don't know about you, but except for packing, I really enjoy the prep for a vacation where I get to choose what I'm gonna do and sort of imagine how things are gonna be and pick the food that I wanna eat or the places I wanna go. And those pieces are my control. What you doing? Get is this your act of control? <laughs> so one of the ways that I exhibit control on vacation is to make sure that I do the laundry before I come home. Mostly because I don't want to have to do it when I get home. Hey, what are you doing? Controlling things by organizing. So you're... I so you're taking everything out of this box and putting it back in? It needs to go back in right, right? So it needs to close, so. And number four, it's gonna sound super bizarre, mastery. You need to, in this time, develop a mastery over something. Now mastery, again, looks different to every person. For some people, it might be learning to crochet or completing a project that you're working on as long as it's a relaxing one. For some people, mastery could legitimately be finishing a series that you were looking to finish. It could be that, but most of the time it's a little bit more specific and concrete and a little more active. For almost a year now, we have been vacationing to the mountains because the beach has been way too crowded and way too expensive. On those trips where we've hiked to the waterfalls or, you know, made a goal of seeing all the covered bridges in the area that we were going to, I will tell you that I came back more rested and more ready to do more things in my normal life than I am after trips when I don't do that sort of thing. So, so I'm thinking there's some truth here. Definitely not mastery on your part. <laughs> Tell me what we learned. Tell the camera what we learned. Learned that my wife is not a good ping pong player. Or she's even worse at dark. <laughs> mastery did not happen for me, but you won. All of, I mean, there's only two of us playing, so I feel like. All right, so those are the four things. Relaxation, unplugging, control, and mastery. I hope you enjoyed that. We certainly did. Time to get back to work now. I will see you all next week. Thanks so much for being here. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other.